hello students welcome uh, to this new lecture so this is the first lecture in this new channel because i have made some other lectures um, which is on xrd neutron diffraction um, then compton effect and some other things which i will uh, give link in the description box this is in another channel because first i used to uh, upload the study videos on that channel but then i have separated this channel that it will be only for physics students and this will this channel will or, or only for the physics videos so um, so these uh, channel who are studying physics like uh, who are about to appear in net exam gate exam and phd entrance interview or msc even bsc or class 11 12 also any type of idea if you want to get about physics so you can subscribe to this channel that i will upload more and more videos and you can understand the physics so uh, who are um, applying for like trying for uh, to crack gate or net or phd interviews for those uh, competitive exams or entrance test i want to say uh, maybe you have uh, prepared a lot i have lots of copies bunch of copies where i have solved so many problems and i have um, i have written the concepts what i have understood from uh, several books several lectures which i have uh, got in um, my university my msc is from benares hindu university which is called bhu and my bsc is from um, calcutta university so uh, and now i am doing phd in iit so yeah so uh, for entrance exam whatever notes you have i have made so many notes i will uh, i will uh, give lecture from those also so first you should um, you can make a short note which i have made i have a uh, copy like this i have made this copy and i feel that i will write all the short notes formulas important concept uh, in this copy i thought but when i started i have only written quantum mechanics in this copy only short note in quantum mechanics because my quantum mechanics copy was three full length this much three copies so uh, this much notebook is not sufficient but uh, this is only for quantum mechanics so i will tell you which formulas you need to remember at the time of your entrance test so so first we need to remember some mathematical thing before studying quantum because you know to learn physics mathematics is a great tool which we use okay so first i will so this is 0 to infinite e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx is equals to gamma of n so this is called gamma this is a capital gamma so we know this is a capital gamma and this is a small gamma so gamma function we are using this capital gamma it's not enough for competitive exam so for competitive exam you have to remember some other formulas uh gamma function formula which are okay so this is the basic formula this is the another formula which is x uh, integration 0 to infinite e to the power alpha x into x to the power n dx here i want to say here we are getting e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 which is giving uh, gamma n so if we put n instead of n minus 1 it will be gamma n plus 1 like we are adding one here so okay if we are adding one here it will be n n minus one plus one is n then here will be it is gamma okay n plus one gamma n means this is n minus one factorial so n minus one into gamma n minus one okay i will so this is zero to infinite to the power minus alpha x what is different here i have multiplied alpha here here alpha is equals to 1 in the first equation so here there is another term which is alpha which is a constant and all other terms are constant i i should write it like this okay you can okay you have seen this equation so now we can write it in terms of gamma of n plus 1 which means now did you understand 
So gamma n plus 1 is equals to n gamma n. And gamma n means n minus 1 into gamma n minus 1. So it will be like that. So here is alpha has been uh, multiplied and into x to the power n similar. So what has been changed? That when it is alpha is equals to 1, it is only gamma n plus 1. When it is multiplied by alpha here, then it will be divided by alpha to the power n plus 1. Okay. As it is 1 here, alpha is equals to 0. So if I put 1 to the power n plus 1, no matter how much you will put 1 to the power, it will be 1 only. So it satisfies. Okay. So this is our first basic gamma function. This is number 2. Now come to number 3. Number 3 is, this is alpha e to the power minus alpha x x square. Okay. So now it has changed something. Here it is e to the power minus alpha, uh, minus x only. This is x to the power 2. And also alpha has been multiplied. Okay. So how much, how it will be changed? So it will be changed like it will be gamma of n plus 1 by 2. When it is the quadratic, is it power 2, it will become n plus 1 by 2. Okay. And obviously in the denominator, there is a term that is 2 alpha to the power n plus 1 by 2. Here gamma of n plus 1 by 2, alpha to the power also n plus 1 by 2. And there is one half, which is multiplied by the full function. So this is our third gamma function. And the fourth, fourth is, here the limit has been changed. This is minus infinity to plus infinity. And this is same as that minus alpha x square. But there is one term, that is plus beta x. That means, here we have this term into this term. Like e to the power minus alpha x square into e to the power minus alpha. But you can take it in different constant, that is beta. e to the power minus uh, here it is, we have taken it plus, okay. So, yeah, like if we take minus alpha is equals to beta, so we can put it. So, it is like that. So, how? So, finally it becomes e to the power minus alpha x square plus beta x dx, which is equal to, here is a root over, root over pi by alpha, whole root over, like pi by alpha, into e to the power beta square, which has power 1, that square, beta square, by 4 alpha. Alpha is with which x is, uh, the coefficient of x square. So, the coefficient of x, which is beta, so it will be beta square by 4 alpha. Alpha is the coefficient of x square. So, whatever function, like uh, sometimes in um, solving many types of equation, when we put uh, uh, like we are calculating some value so we need uh, the we will get this kind of equation so if you will if we you can remember this uh, formulas then you can just put it and you just get it so these are four uh, formulas one two three four these are four formulas which uh, you if you remember it will be a uh, saver for you so that's uh, the lecture for today this is the first lecture so I will provide um, like this is my notebook okay so this is a James for me and some of my uh, classmates I have given them also they have a uh, uh, Xerox tape and uh, they literally study to one night before the exam every time so uh, they have also cracked uh, gate and then they have got admitted in IITs like just like me so they are also PhD students in IIT so I'm really happy for them also. So uh, so if you uh, like or if you want to get tips, I am updating more. This is the first one. So if you want to get this kind of lectures, uh, so please subscribe. And uh, uh, if, you, if you have some suggestions, which kind of videos you want, if you want the derivation kind of videos, you can tell me if you want not derivation, just solving problems or just some tricks so this kind of things you can you can ask me like uh, whatever which kind of videos you want to get okay so uh, stay tuned for next video bye bye